Hello friends, today we are going to see XRA instruction of 8085 microprocessor. XRA, XRA stand for XOR accumulator. Here XR stand for XOR and A stand for accumulator. XOR is logical operation. Actual instruction will be XRA R where R can take any value from R can be either accumulator or it will be B register, C register, D register, E register, H register, L register. It can take any value from these register. R can be anything either A, B, C, D, E or H, L. To understand this instruction one should know truth table of XOR gate. So, this is truth table of two input XOR gates. Inputs are A and B and output will be A XOR B. So input conditions are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So when inputs are 0, 0, output becomes 0. When inputs are 1, 1, output becomes 0. So when inputs are same, output becomes 0. And when inputs are different, output becomes 1. For 0, 1, output is 1 and for 1 0 output is 1 so this is truth table to understand operation of XRA instruction one should know truth table of XOR gate now let's try to understand format of this instruction this instruction is going to take XOR of content of this bracket is read as content of content of R and content of accumulator and answer is stored into accumulator so this instruction will perform XOR of R and accumulators content and answer is stored into accumulator addressing mode of this instruction is register addressing mode because operand is R operand is register this instruction is having two parts XRA and R XRA is called as opcode and R is called as operand and whenever operand is register its addressing mode becomes register addressing mode group this instruction is from logical group because XOR is logical operation bytes this instruction is going to take one byte in a program because there is no two digit or four digit number given in instruction and when no digit is given in instruction it is going to take only one byte flags this instruction is going to modify flag in following ways cy flag carry flag becomes zero auxiliary carry flag becomes zero forcefully whenever we perform xor CY automatically becomes 0 and AC automatically becomes 0 and remaining 3 flags S, P and Z sign parity and 0 are modified according to the final answer. Example Let's take this example XRA A XOR accumulator with accumulator. So this instruction will XOR the content of accumulator with accumulator and answer is stored into accumulator. So this will be explanation of this instruction. It is going to take XOR of accumulator with accumulator and all answers are stored into accumulator. So answer is stored into accumulator. Before execution, let's say that before execution content of accumulator is 64H. Here H stands for hexadecimal. So this number is in hexadecimal form. So we can convert this 6 into binary pattern as 0110 and 4 as 0100. You can simply remember this with a rule of 1248. 1248. So 4 plus 2 is 6 and 4 is 4. So this 64H can be written as 0110 0100. So this is our before execution content. And suppose if you want to execute XRA A instruction, then what will happen? We will take XOR of accumulator with accumulator means we are going to take XOR of 64 with 64. And whatever answer is there that will get stored into accumulator 
so answer will be 0 0 h calculation part is shown over here so 64 is written 0 1 1 0 0 1 0 0 is 64 and we are going to take xor with 64 only so 0 xor with 0 is 0 1 xor with 1 is 0 1 xor with 1 is 0 0 xor with 0 is 0 0 xor with 0 is 0 1 xor with 1 is 0 0 xor with 0 is 0 0 xor with 0 is 0 so whenever we take xor of same numbers 1 and 1 0 and 0 answer is going to become 0 we have seen that in truth table of xor gate when we take xor of same inputs that is 0 0 or 1 1 its output becomes 0 0 therefore final answer is 0 0 h so after execution content of accumulator will become 0 0 h now let's check various flags carry and auxiliary carry flags will become 0 automatically forcefully, forcefully these flags will become 0 and 0 parity flag is 0 because no one is there sign flag is 0 because bit msb bit is 0 and sign flag always always follows msb bit 0 flag is 1 0 flag is 1 because entire answer is 0 and whenever entire answer is 0 0 flag becomes 1 now try these examples on yourself let's say that before execution content of accumulator is 37h and content of b register is 33h now we need to execute xra b instruction so you have to tell me what will be the new content of accumulator after execution of xra b give your answer in comments now another example is that before execution content of accumulator is 2dh remember this this d is hexadecimal number and content of l register is c5h again this c is also a hexadecimal number and we need to execute instruction xral now you tell me what will be the content of accumulator after execution of xral give your answer in comments thank you